a valiant entry. Diving into healing the past of incest or childhood abuse is nothing short of heroic. This journey is only for the brave. I've seen more people move away from their healing than step into it. Healing your past is an intentional journey. You must want to choose it. Unfettered by the bullshit stories you've created in your mind around the abuse, it is a journey back to the truth. And it's not an easy journey. Living in denial hurt myself and it hurt my children deeply. In the beginning, I really didn't have a choice about what that journey looked like. Denial was the thief that demanded I stay beside it. God is the one who brought me choice. God gets such a bad rap. Without him leading me, I would have never found the way out. Ever. I believe most abusers carry with them dark angels. Angels that are sent to kill, steal, and destroy They don't just let you go. You need the help of God's angels to fight that battle with you. Left to ourselves, we fumble through life after childhood trauma. The evil that was sent to us in childhood continues to walk beside us. It speaks destruction in our ears. It tells us not to disclose our stories. It makes us believe that we will be less than everyone else if we do tell. That's a lie. A lie you are carrying from your abuser. God didn't do this to you. God is the very one that sends his angels to fight on your behalf. This battle doesn't belong to us. It belongs to God. Let him fight for you. Pray that he will open your eyes to the journey. Believe in his protection as he leads you out of the darkness into his light. The light hurts your eyes in the beginning. You want to run from its guiding truth, but don't. Stop. Be intentional about your healing. God is the one who shows you the way out of those prison cells.